Okay, so Anthropic just released CoWork, which essentially is cloud code for normies or non-developers. And I think it's really the first steps from Anthropic towards a general purpose agent that lives and work on your computer. We're not talking about an agent that is able to use your browser, but this agent has access to local files and I think can really be useful for knowledge work that you usually perform. Now, this is essentially a wrapper around cloud code. So all the capabilities that cloud code has are also available to co-work, but it also has access to a number of different connectors. So for example, you can connect your calendar connected to Slack. It can also use skills like cloud code. So the capabilities are already there. It's just another interface for non-developers that they can be comfortable with. So here's an interesting example that we can all relate to. Here they're asking the agent to organize the desktop. I'm actually going to try this with my own desktop because it's pretty messy right now. And it comes up with a plan, ask clarifying questions when need be, and then it goes and perform those actions with your permissions. Okay, so here's how the interface looks like. Now within the cloud desktop, you have chat code and now co-work. This right now is only available for the max subscribers. They will probably release it to the pro plan, but right now it's in early access or preview. Now the way it works is that you need to point it to a specific folder if you want it to perform operations in a given folder. So you can select the folder from here and then just tell it the way you chat with cloud code or a cloud and desktop. Now, a couple of other crazy things that I came across. First thing is this was built in a week and a half and it seems like pretty much all the code was written by cloud code. So it really shows you that these coding agents are becoming extremely useful. Okay, the first test that I'm going to run is to ask it to organize my desktop, just like the demo. Can you please go ahead and organize all the files on my desktop? Okay, let's see what it does. Okay, so for anything that you want to do, especially if it comes to operations on your computer, you need to give it access to that folder. Also, if you want to give it access to specific files, you can add them as a context. And there are a number of different connectors that you can manage through the connector interface. Now, you need to be very careful because it can perform destructive operations on your machine. Can you please go ahead and organize my desktop? Okay, I'm going to set this in. Right now, I'm using Sonnet 4.5. We don't need the Opus 4.5 intelligence for this operation. Essentially, it's running a command, a bash command. Here, it created a to-do list. In certain cases, it will ask you for permission or will come up with a few questions. In this case, it's not asking me for anything whatsoever. And I think it went ahead and started organizing them based on the file type. So it's basically writing code like uh, cloud code does and then performing those operations. Now on the right hand side, you see the progress that it's making, the different artifacts that it's going to create and what specific context it's using. So this is extremely helpful because you as a user know what exactly the agent is doing at the moment. Okay, so according to this, it has organized my desktop, created different folders, which is pretty neat. You can run multiple different tasks in parallel. So I'm going to create yet another task. In this case, I'm using this YouTube videos folder where I have all my YouTube videos. So some of these videos have transcripts with it. And I want to use this agent to help me build some statistics and organize it. So for this, we're going to use Opus 4.5. Now in this folder, some of the subfolders have transcripts of the videos. I want you to look at all the transcripts, identify the main themes of the videos that I have created, create different exploratory plots to show what type of topics I have covered what are the length of the videos that I have created based on the transcript? And what are the potential themes that I should be focusing on? 
Okay, so this is going to require a lot of analysis and we're going to use Opus 4.5 for this. Again, it's writing bash code to look at the structure of the folder. The folder itself has different subfolders. In total, it found 47 different files with transcripts. Okay, it seems like it's installing some dependencies. Now, this is pretty great because as a non-developer, you can ask it to do some really complex operations. But keep in mind, since it's able to perform actions on your computer, you need to be mindful of what access you give it. And also it can do some destructive operations. I think this is really the first glimpse of knowledge work that we can automate with these agentic systems. Now this is still a research preview. So I think it's going to make a lot of different mistakes. And we don't know what the proper UI UX for in agentic system like this actually looks like. So we might see different other takes from other companies like AI, Google, right? And this is going to be a very interesting area to keep track of. I'm already seeing some artifacts coming in. So we can actually look at those plots. I imagine it's going to create a more comprehensive report or maybe we can ask it at the end because I don't think it's doing that right now. It only created these plots and there's a comprehensive analysis in the form of a text document. Okay, so based on your findings, I need you to create a comprehensive report explaining all the different plots that you have created, what exactly you found, and also include your recommendations. Make sure to create a single PDF file that I can review. All right, okay, let's send this in. So now you can, let's say, provide a bunch of different plots in a folder or maybe a bunch of PDF files, and then I can ask CoWork to help you analyze those and create comprehensive reports for you. So again, just cloud code, it's using the bash tool. All right, so at the end, it created this PDF file. Let me open this. Interesting, it did not create the file, or maybe it's not able to open PDF files here. Okay, so it did create the file, but it seems like it was not able to open it. So according to the stats, it analyzed 47 different transcripts. It thinks it's around 10 hours of videos. Average duration is 13 minutes. That sounds about right. The core focus is on large language models. Now, these are not all of my videos, but 66% are infrastructure related. Model releases or news is around 60% and then context engineering, 51%. RAG is about 36%. These are some of my recent videos. Here's the methodology that it used. So under the hood, it's using Cloud Code, which is really great at exploratory analysis. And this analysis does look pretty relevant to what I do. It actually did key term analysis. It seems like I have been creating a lot of Gemini related content more recently. Also, agent seems to be mentioned a lot. Some recommendations, you have strong RAG coverage, but opportunity to go deeper on agentic document workflows multi-agent system for document analysis are in high demand. And that's a topic that I wanted to cover this year. And then multimodal applications, AI agent frameworks, deep dive, that is another opportunity that I could potentially do. It's actually pretty good. And the idea of this quick example was that you can assign it different tasks, specifically exploratory analysis, and it can also take some actions. So one a really good thing I like about this new co-work is that it's able to use Chrome with all your accounts logged in. So if you want, you can ask it to do operations on the web for you. Now, just to show you an example, can you go open Chrome and look at the current stock of Tesla and Apple? If you want, you can give it access to your calendar, for example, and it will be able to take operations on the calendar. So here is what exactly it's doing. So right now it's looking at the Tesla stock and now it's navigating to Apple. And you can see that I'm actually logged in to my account. So it could potentially perform operations using my credentials on different services. Now there are some safety nets built into it. So although this is going to be extremely useful, you also want to be aware of potential safety related concerns. This can not only access web, we can also do operations on your local machine, which opens up a lot of different possibilities.
Now, a few other things. So you can provide specific files or photos as context, or you can use these connectors. So connectors enables it to interact with external world. Here are the list of connectors that I have on my computer. You can also include some custom connectors. And apart from connectors, it also has access to skills since it's built on top of cloud code. So you can create your own skills it will be able to use it or you can use some of the built-in skills that cloud code comes up with okay so if you are on the max plan you will be able to access it if you are not seeing this in your cloud code just download the latest version i had to actually uninstall my existing version and download a fresh version and then it showed up now a few things there seems to be some issues with connectors at the moment it's really a hit and miss but hopefully they are going to fix those issues in the upcoming updates we already saw that it was not able to load the pdf properly again these are small bugs and it's a research preview so we would expect that these things are going to be ironed out pretty soon but here's the thing you need to think about what type of operations you'll be able to perform here versus a normal chat session so the only advantage that I have seen here is that it's able to use files on your local machine. It's not just looking at the context that you provide, but can, it can look at a folder, performs operations there. So this is a really big improvement over the normal chat session that you can have in a cloud desktop app. And this comes from the fact that this essentially is a wrapper around cloud code. So this gives the cloud code capabilities to non-developers, which again is a pretty awesome experience to have. The UI is pretty clean. Sometimes if it needs clarification, it actually triggers the ask user question tool. I covered that in one of my videos. Anyways, if you are on the max plan, do give it a shot. I think you will like it. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. And as always, see you in the next one.